Hello, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Jessica. How can I help you today? I actually bought the bag from your online store a couple of days ago. I specifically ordered for a pink bag, but you guys sent me a blue one. What am I going to do with the blue bag? I want a pink bag. Oh, we're so sorry for the wrong item that was delivered to you. Please let me put you on hold and get back to you right away. A little bit faster, please. Okay, one moment. <laughs> what do I do? What, the, she got a pink bag and she got a blue bag. What? Hey guys, it's Jessica here. And today, as you can see, I'm a bit dressed differently from my other Tabaho jobs because today we're going to be doing one of the most requested jobs as well, which is going to be call center employee. When I heard that we're gonna do call center company, I thought I'm gonna be working at night. I know call center people usually work at night, right? Because the service, it's internet, global. I know that I'm going to be experiencing like different stuff as well that they do in the morning. So I don't know what to expect, honestly, guys. Well, it's my first job where it's not like physical. It's like sitting down, right? Talking, talking is the main job. So I'm excited because that's kind of like the job I wanted to do. Just talking because I love talking, right? But I don't know in terms of talking for the service. I'm more used to talking like in front of people like this or just, you know, but not like one on one. I don't know. So yeah. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, today is Tabaho's first ever sponsored video, guys, by VXI. So we're going to be working at VXI. Let's go. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm Marielle. Marielle. I am the recruitment manager for VXI mm. Bridgetown. Welcome. Just to give you an mm -hmm. overview of what you're going to do today. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give you a feel of what it's like to work in the BPO. What's a BPO company? What does okay. BPO stand for? A BPO for? stands for Business Process Outsourcing. When an applicant comes in, mm -hmm. what they understand about the BPO is that, mm -hmm. you know, they take calls every day, they answer customer inquiries Yeah, every like calls on the agent. Correct. Right? That's yeah. correct. But what's nice about the BPO industry is that it has grown, not just taking calls mm -hmm. every day. They also do back office support. It mm -hmm. really depends on the amount that you handle. For today, what we're going to let you try out is what it's going to be like to be an applicant. All the way until how you train as a call center agent and even let you experience what it's like being a recruiter. Okay, let's Are go. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. First, information's first. Once you're done with that, the assessment pops up. So what if I don't make it through this online assessment exam? You can reapply after two weeks. Choose the best word for Thank each you. sentence. Trembling. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Okay, it's all Joe. Good Joe. <laughs> well, flighty head. What a very good flighty head. Very great flighty head. <laughs> One last. What? <laughs> oh my god. This is a typing oh test? God. I love this. I love this as a kid. Wait, what? Can I restart? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm really fast actually. I'm really, really, really fast. So the first test, I got the score already. <laughs> you got a three. <laughs> Out of 20. See you in two weeks. Wait, can I check? <laughs> I'm a threshold. I was like, I think I got perfect. It's a prank. <laughs> Grammar and subject verb, you pass them. But the typing test, you're 44 words per minute. We're good with that, but we kind of need to work on your accuracy. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. My name is Jean. I'll be facilitating your initial interview. What do you expect? about BPO industry. I expect bridging accounts and different clients as a customer service mm -hmm. agent through speaking on the phone, good community life, I guess, in VXI, learning from my coworkers and just improving myself because it's my first job. Well, why should we hire you, Jessica? Even if English is my second language, I worked hard on it ever since I was young. I also generally like talking to people. My forte actually in Topo was also talking, speaking. I am outgoing in terms of that. All right, so I think I've got all the information that I need. So I'll be endorsing you to the next step. So by the way, congratulations. You passed the initial interview. Wait, that's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really say, oh, you didn't pass also? Well, we say you did not meet the qualifications. <gasps> like, on, like, here? Yes. Do some people like cry or something like that? Not really. No, not that. <laughs> they can reapply after 15 days. Naman. Comprehension, communication skills, and well, commitment. 
Alright, so good morning everyone. My name is Ro and thank you for attending this training with me. I am here to help you guys out. We're going to talk about the basics of BPO. Actually, here in the Philippines, there are a lot of other BPO companies, but here in VXI, we cater to clients and what we do is we help them out with their businesses. That is the reason why it's called outsourcing. Not just help our customers, but create a bridge from your client going to your customers. We are the bridge. What is the first thing that you're going to say when you pick up a call? Hi. Good morning. My name is Jessica. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That is a good example. We're going to start with a greeting. Why do you think our customers needs empathy, action, and reassurance? So they feel supported. Okay. And they feel like we listen to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's our responsibility to make them feel good about our service about our company. Now, we do have here some examples. The customer said that he received the wrong item. The customer is so pissed off. What are you going to say? Yes. I'm so sorry mm -hmm. for the mistake. I will take a look into it. Okay. And help you get your actual product. Okay, all right. What Jessica's doing is that she is doing the empathizing and she is also doing the reassurance. So she's reassuring the customer that it's okay. I am here to help you out. Don't worry about it. Okay, now are you guys ready for the mock call? Yes. Yes. What's the best part of being a call center agent? It's oh. <laughs> stressful. But what's help is you. We do have events like, for example, Mother's Day, free massage for the mothers, the perks Ooh. of having those engagement events, na freebie for employees. Mm. Another HMO benefit or healthcare benefit. We do have a specific allotment for our mental health. Where you can get like a mental service. Check up oh. service. Oh, do you have to have perfect? I don't know American accent. Actually, you're. In VXI, we do have a specific program wherein we train those people who doesn't have any work experience. Mm. So we can develop their communication skill. We can teach them call center English so they can adopt the job pretty mm. easy. Why do you think there are a lot of call center agents here? The workforce here in the Philippines yes. is actually more cheaper than mm. the other country. Mm. That's number one. Mm. Two would be the language. Mm. Since yes. Filipinos already have English subjects mm. since grade one, I think most of them are are already equipped with the knowledge. It just needs some um, improvement in terms of communication skills pag nag-call center na sila. We have a lot of employees who doesn't have call center background, mm. pero they get tired. Some have been promoted, yeah, promoted as well. And also, you know what? Filipinos are very diligent. They're hardworking. They're always motivated to provide for their family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, they can adopt to a specific culture pretty easily. How are the rude? How are they like? How can they be mean? They're not going to make you talk. <gasps> oh, <laughs> when they get that's to pick up, yeah, like, once they get to pick up the call, <laughs> yeah. But don't worry about it. Just like what I mentioned earlier, if it's too much mm -hmm. and they're being abusive with their oh, language, yeah. what can you do? Like yeah. they cross the line, for example. They're like, yes. okay, we are mother is like. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell them that sorry, but as much as I want to help you, we can proceed. If you're going to be like that to mm. me, you can do that. It's your right yeah, as a yeah, human yeah. being. Like the accent, uh, they can understand. Yeah, or you, they do that. You will like, encounter people I cannot like that. Understand you? Mm -hmm. Even though for you it's clear enough, for them it's not. From then on, what you're gonna do is try to still be patient. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just trying to annoy you mm -hmm. because they're annoyed themselves. Mm -hmm. So just try to speak a little bit slower. Do they and ever they like really pick up like where are you from? There will be instances where we're in they're gonna be asking you things like that, as if it's a dating app. <gasps> yeah, there will be posts like that. Where are you from? What do you look like? I just want to talk to you. For me, the Filipino accent was the easiest to understand. And that's what I thought maybe one of the reasons why there are a lot of call center agents. I think you're right about it. Filipinos can adopt to the English language pretty easily mm. because of the vowel sound. Not only the vowel sound, alphabet itself pattern mm. is almost the same yeah. as the English alphabet. Let me just show you around before we do the mock call. Mm -hmm. If ever the, the pantry is closed because you know what, it's still daytime, the agents, they're still sleeping, you can still grab yourself some snacks here. We do have 7-Eleven. Yeah, we value you taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. This is our sleeping area. How long can you sleep here? As long as it's your break time. Oh, wow. If ever you're this is probably gonna be my favorite area. 
and this is our prod area. This is where you're gonna go to take your calls. So this is where at night, mm -hmm. all of them come here and then do their shift. Yes, that's right. Well, now the vibes are a bit okay because it's during the daytime, but if it's at nighttime, it must be a bit scary here. Is it scary at night? Are there ghosts Actually, here? It's impossible not to have one here in the Philippines, especially in the call center mm -hmm. industry. It's very famous. We call him Junjun. Why? In the Filipino language, Junjun means a kid. Did you see Junjun here? I actually didn't see Junjun, but I felt like as if someone's watching me. Uh, especially in the production area, they will be hearing someone typing. What? Or is someone using their, their computer? What? It's very common. <laughs> 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 but I'm so, not afraid of ghosts though. So I'm, I can actually work here. So working yeah. with Junjun? You know, sometimes Junjun will be taking the call. Does it happen Talking also? Yes, there's this one story. He answered the call and no one's answering. Mm -hmm. But he can hear someone's breathing. <gasps> he was like, uh, sir, if you're not going to answer or if you're not going to talk, I'm sorry, but I need to hang up. Most likely, we will be getting wine customers. So <gasps> they will be speaking in English. But this specific call, he said, Asanka. <gasps> Junjun doesn't have a gender. Junjun can be a man, can be a girl, can be a little boy. This is not Junjun, right? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Bixi! I can see where you're coming. I'll just ask you. Hello, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Jessica. How can I help you today? I actually cannot understand you. Can you please repeat yourself? Thank you for calling customer service. My name is Jessica. How can I help you today? All right, good. Actually, this is the third time I've been calling you guys and you guys are not answering. What's happening? Uh, we're so sorry for the inconvenience. I can see where you're coming Jessica. from that you couldn't take the call for three times. Since you got me here, let me assist you today with your concerns. May I know what is your problem? I actually bought the bag from your online store a couple of days ago. I specifically ordered for a pink bag, but you guys sent me a blue one. What am I going to do with the blue bag? I want a pink bag. Oh, we're so sorry for the wrong item that was delivered to you. Let me look into what's going on, but before that, may I get your colors, your first name and last name? Well, actually, before I give you my information, I just want to let you guys know that your service sucks. It's been a long time and you guys are not answering my calls. I'm so pissed off. I hope I, I can get something from you guys, all right? Okay, we're so sorry again for the inconvenience. I will get back to you once you tell me your first name and last name and your account number. All right, my first name is Anne. My last name is Smith. My account number is 860995. Please let me put you on hold and get back to you right away. A little bit faster, please. Okay, one moment. What do I do? What, uh, the, she got a pink bag and she got a blue bag. What? And then we fought. Hello, thank you for waiting, Miss Anne. I have checked that you have ordered a pink bag instead of a blue bag. Hello? She dropped the call. Is this for real? Is this the end? I'll hear you. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna cry. This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> Hello, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Jessica. How can I help you today? Hi, um, I actually need your help. Uh, are you okay? Are you available? Yes, yes, I'm totally available. What can All I right. help with you? This is the, the fifth time I'm trying to log into my email address, but it seems like I forgot my password. Okay, I can see where you're coming from. May I have your account number and name, please? Ann Smith. Sorry for putting you on hold. Mm -hmm. I would like to assist you with resetting your password so mm -hmm. you can log into your email account once again. So okay. could you go to the site where you logged into your email? Okay. And then what's going to happen next? You will be able to see a sign there that says reset password. Yes, you need to click that. Mm, I think it's done. Okay. Hello. Hello, thank you. Hello, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Jessica. How can I help you today? Hi, this is Timothy. So you know what? I just uh, recently got promoted and I definitely want to take advantage of the money that I got. I would love to purchase a new phone. And if you do have some cheap, portable package for me, can you recommend one? First of all, congratulations on your new gig. 
I would like to offer you some of the packages we have. As of now, we have a promo. Mm -hmm. If you buy an iPhone 14, which is the newest product in line, you can actually get an Apple Watch on 50% mm -hmm. off. Only if you can purchase it before May 18. How does that sound? I think that's good package. How am I going to proceed with the payment? So I have sent you the details of the package to your email that I was able to find through your account number and you can look through the package one more time to confirm with your purchase. All good. All right, is there anything else that I can help you with today? All right, thank you so much. Once again, this was Jessica Lee. If you could, please stay on the line to take a brief three question survey. Have a great day. <sighs> Wait, this is no joke. All right, so congratulations. You're done with your yes. inbound call. How does it feel like? My heart <laughs> dropped. Okay, nerve wracking, right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're going to add more. What? Right, so we're going to proceed to the next stop, mm -hmm. which is the recruitment area. Mm -hmm. This time, you're going to be doing the outbound call. You're going outbound to call. all the applicants and do the screening process, all right? Right now, we will be conducting the, what we call pre-screening interview. Mm. The aim of this interview is to assess or to check the basic qualifications of our candidates mm. or applicants before we even endorse them for the initial interview. Mm. So basically, the sample questions that we have here are just, you know, to assess their profile, mm -hmm. of course, their personal background, educational background, mm -hmm. occupational background, and so on. So I'm here to conduct your pre-screening interview. And please note that this is a pre-screening interview. So in order for me to endorse you to the next step, you have to pass this interview first. Yes. And Perfect. we're also going to tell them if they passed or not, like at the end of the yes. call? Yes. At the end yes. of the call? Like right away? Yeah, actually that's up to you. Of course, as what I've mentioned earlier, we have these qualifications. Now, if they fail to meet the basic qualification, we have to directly tell to them right after the call that they didn't pass the pre-screening interview. So after, after all this call? Okay, okay, so you didn't pass this test, so yes. bye. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course, you have to deliver nicely. it mm, nicely. Mm, mm, mm. Dial the mm. number. So this is outbound where you yeah. just call. Hi, this is Jessica from BXI. Yes. Hello. Hello, this is Jessica from VXI and I'm here to conduct your pre-screening interview. Yes, right. Before the interview, please note that this is just a pre-screening interview. Once you pass this interview, then you will be endorsed to the next step. Okay. All right. May I first ask if this is your first time to apply at VXI? I was put on hold by the candidate. <laughs> it's just redialed. Does this happen? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> what if he does it one more time? Fail na. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this calling job is really nerve-wracking. Like my. <laughs> I'm also panicking. We're both panicking <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello again, this is Jessica from VXI and I just called you a while ago to conduct a pre-screening interview. Are we able to proceed with the pre-screening interview? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I can do it clearly now. Okay. May I confirm if this is Nicanor? First of all, is this your first time to apply at VXI? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any BPO or call center experience in the past? Yes, I do have. Which is the longest company that you have worked for? Okay, I see. Are you comfortable working on site since we no longer offer any work at home setup? Are you amenable to work full time on graveyard shift, shifting schedule, weekends, and holidays? May I know how much is your expected salary? So thank you so much for sharing those information, Nikanor. I think I got all the details I need. Congratulations for passing the screening process. Do you have any questions or clarifications before you proceed to the next step? All right. Thank you so much for taking my call. Nikanor, have a great day and stay safe as always. Thank you. Thank you. Miss. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Good job. Nice well though. This is for a day. That's 900 pesos. 
That's actually not bad. One of the most high paid jobs in trabajo though. And then they also have different benefits, I guess, like the freebies, the open house, the different incentives. So I guess it really depends depending on your position as well. It's a bit more rigid, the fact that it's in a building and you have to wear smart, casual and stuff. There is this impression that this formality gives that's a bit intimidating. But at the same time, there is the kind of sense of security as well. Like, okay, you belong here and this is your workplace and you have your own ID and you have your own seat. You're not gonna get fired like for no reason all of a sudden. So I guess it's a security that these kind of jobs give. I think that's really good because I never done any of that class thing, I guess. I have done like for YouTube and stuff, but it wasn't as structured, I guess. Here, there's really a way you have to follow. You know, in my mind, I was like, okay, I really should do this well. I was honestly shocked by how simple it was. You know, how we just do it with the screen first and then the screen interview. And of course they go through different training after that, but I thought it would be harder. I thought there would be more documents you have to prepare, like, oh, you need to get this much score in this exam, but hindi nama. It was more engaging, I guess, how they prefer like on-site interviews so you really get to see them. Yeah, it was my first time, but it was cool just the job itself, honestly, because I've never really imagined myself doing this. And even if in the mock call a while ago, it's just a mock call, right? But just the fact that someone's talking to you on the phone, just the audio, and that person can only hear your audio, you can't see the face and stuff. That setting, it just makes me sweat already. It's just very nerve wracking. Even if I'm sitting down, I don't feel like I'm sitting down. I guess I really got to understand from the POV of call center agents or people who do similar jobs in the BPO industry. You know, it's just a hard task to be be attentive but also still be kind. Outbound calls, I feel like I never really experienced other kinds of outbound calls where I'm really selling the product and she said most of them also just hanging the phone. I guess I feel better with outbound calls because I'm the one who's reaching out. Yeah, I'm more prepared but inbound calls like panic mode, just panic mode, <laughs> just panic mode. It's hard because the whole system is good here like the environment and they have different offers and stuff so it's like considerate, burdensome but engaging. Well, there are different parts in the company, right? There's even the nap room and the prog room. And the prog room really looks like the a typical image when you think of like a call center BPO company. So just imagining how many people would be in there all together and just like receiving calls and stuff. Wow, hardworking people. Well, I really love the food. I loved how there are different rooms also you can go to ease out as well, like the nap room. Because I thought it was going to be like open airy, but it was actually everyone has one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just the fact that when I was doing the mall call, I just, my, my heart it was really like <sighs> my heart hasn't trembled that hard in a while <sighs> I always knew that people in the BPO industry, in call center companies, it's really hard. You know, just what you're doing, the service, customer service. But I think it's good that VXI is providing different accommodation or service for the worker, like they say, the mental care or service or other incentives, other opportunities that you can get if you stay. I think that's good. I know call center agent or working in the BPO industry is just really hard. So it's just a lot of respect to everyone who deals with this. I know. Stressful. Like, I don't even know, honestly. Yeah, but I can really see how stressful it could be. I hope you guys enjoyed our first corporate job. Trabajo, guys. Let me know how it was in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna stay. You, you put it in, okay? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you.